Okay, today we have Dr. Teresa Sievers, our medical expert, and we're going to be talking about uh, arthritis. We have, we get from time to time questions uh, regarding arthritis, but there's so many, as you know, forms of arthritis. There's all kinds of different uh, types of ailments uh, of that nature. But today's question is, is about uh, causes of lupus arthritis. What causes lupus arthritis? And that was our main question that came in today. Sure. Lupus is an autoimmune illness and it's a multi-organ uh, system effect, which means it's not just the joint. The joint will be part of the problem, um, but sometimes it may be severe fatigue, it may be anemia, it may be rashes, it may be digestive issues, it may be depression. I mean, it could be even mental health issues. So it kind of affects the whole body. We don't really know for sure what causes it. We mm -hmm. know that people will have a genetic predisposition. You can actually test people who don't have lupus, but we found the gene that it's isolated on. Um, who's going to get it and who doesn't kind of depends on various factors, including lifestyle. Um, but that's the main you know, cause of what we know what, what causes it. Right. So it, do you think it, sometimes it could be uh, different types of like your diet? In functional medicine, um, that's what we feel, that the gut is often the beginning inciting problem, right. and it often can be food intolerances, food allergies, and then you couple that with creating an unhealthy gut, and the immune system gets turned on in the wrong way, and then you get this massive inflammation, and it goes everywhere, and that's why you get such a diffuse symptoms. It's not just, just the joint itself. Right. Yeah. And I noticed here, we're here in your clinic, by the way, nice clinic, by the way, and I just wanted to ask you about some of the natural supplements. I think you're a big advocate of big that. Big fan so. of natural supplements. Um, okay. I try my best, even though I am a board certified internist, um, I found that some of our traditional treatments for lupus, you know, they, they may work, but not without debilitating effects. Mm, okay. You know, when someone's in an acute lupus flare or they're maybe acutely diagnosed, drastic times, you know, require drastic measures, and so sometimes they need that steroid but you can't leave them on that forever or you're mm -hmm. going to be diagnosing a 40-year-old woman with lupus and she's going to be on steroids, she, she's going to have bone loss by the time she's 50. Right. And then we look at some of the other drugs, she may still be of childbearing years and you're not going to want to have her on these serious drugs that can cause liver effects, kidney effects, and have long-term problems. Sure. So they, look, they come to me specifically for something natural. Um, and one of the products that I've you know, been using now is the Flexin. Okay. And people look at it and say, oh, well, it's got glucosamine, it doesn't work. I'm saying, well, that's not the biggest ingredient in there. It's one of the ingredients and it's an important ingredient, sure. but the acetyl myristoliate, the essential fatty acid that's in there, um, is what really is what's working. And unlike other arthritic components, it will work for an autoimmune illness because one of the things that it does is it calms down the immune system. And if you don't turn off the immune system, that's what all these drugs are doing. They're calming down the immune system. And when you calm that response down, they begin to get pain relief, they get some joint lubrication, they can get up and move around, and then they're more apt to incorporate some of those lifestyle things. So is this uh, an inflammation issue? Like when there's, when the, when there's a flare-up. Is that part of the uh, immune system? Absolutely. And the inflammation is an issue. And as I said in the beginning, the gastrointestinal um, tract is probably the root problem way back when, and they may have digestion issues. And the product already carries in some digestive enzymes that their right. body may, may not be making enough of to allow the product to digest and be absorbed. Okay, so you think maybe start off with like the load up, which is the, you know. Yeah, the I would probably strength. actually for a lupus, I would probably do two pills three times a day for at least two weeks. And then I'd back them down to twice a day, do that for another four to six weeks and kind of see how they're going to see if we would go to the joint maintenance. The reality is if they need to stay on the load up, it's okay. Right. It's not going to hurt them. No they're just going to be no getting nothing. more of the right. CM8 or the acetyl myristoliate, the fatty acid that's working. Great. Okay, great. Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Sievers. Thanks. Here you have it.